Take a look at the last game played by each team on Sunday. Belair had another good day. Kimbrough is no good for Joey Lewis. Just has to slap it in for some second chance points. Up against Monroe Central are the Big Reds. Kimbrough has got some quick hands as well. He forces the turnover and defense then leads to offense. Belair finishes with the hoop plus the harm. The Big Reds really stifled the Knolls on defense as well. Check out the big block. I don't think so. Monroe Central that would rally to win 52 to 50. Lindsley is taking on Harrison Central. The cadets were stroking it from deep. A Corner three has the lead for Lindsley. Here's some purposeful passing, which translates to another deep ball for the cadets. That made it 28 to 17. Hate to be redundant, but this time it's Will Taylor who nails one from the corner. Again, the cadets are just cruising along. Hey, Harrison Central, and they can know what your problem is. Another three ball, and the cadets are cruising. They win big 80 to 38. Central Catholic was up against Maslin's Jackson. Jackson came to play. The deep ball was good there to make it a tie ball game early in the first half. This time, the three-point try no good, but nice hustle play. Long rebound is grabbed off the miss, and that gives Jackson a four-point lead. Central Catholic, you're also at the block party. Mel Stevens' team is having a hard time, and now, just for good measure, there's another three by Purple. Jackson takes down Central Catholic 65-50. to The championship game in the tourney featured East Fairmont and Pittsburgh's Mount Lebanon. East Fairmont had a second-half lead. That three ball, though, trims uh, the lead to nine. Mount Lebanon's hanging around. Lucas Garofoli comes up with another three. And the Devils, Mount Lebo trails, uh, trims deficits to nine, but East Fairmont keeps playing well as Jackson Crouch showing off the length and putting up the board for second chance points here in transition. Evan Parr is on par with the close finish. East Fairmont is your champion from the tourney, winning 64 to 51. Yeah, this is two years in a row that we came up to play, and uh, both times it's been real beneficial. Uh, great tournament atmosphere, a lot of people in to watch games, and uh, a lot of good teams from uh, Pennsylvania, Ohio, West Virginia. Good event. Coming up here, playing some tougher teams, helps give that experience under our belt, so when we go back for regular season, coming this winter, we'll be, uh, we'll be pretty dominant. We had guys come play and get to play some hoops, and, you know, it's good to play in the summer, and it's a good evaluation. Got to see us against some different people, which is always good. A total of 16 teams participated in the shootout in the Valley.